we have to activate super control panel to activate super control panel we have to go to custom menu D press menu button and then custom menu just use the down arrow to custom menu and then custom menu D which says display press OK control settings right arrow I auto right arrow and make sure that you tick live SCP which means super control panel just go back with menu button again PASM creative mode just uh, press right arrow and make sure that you check uh, live SCP and for art mode live SCP check scene mode live SCP check that's it once you check live SCP on and you press OK button when you are in the live view then you see the screen with all the most useful settings so it's very easy for you to change settings so you can change ISO white balance focusing area focusing modes and picture modes and uh, metering modes everything by default your image quality may be large normal I'm, I'm talking about uh, JPEG image quality not raw so we have to make sure that we get the best JPEG images if you're shooting JPEG for that you need to go to custom menu again so press menu go back with the left arrow and make sure you go to custom menu G which is uh, color and white balance and uh, picture quality so set just right arrow and make sure here you have to select not fine not normal we need to make sure that it's super fine so large super fine this is the best settings that gives you all the goodness of JPEG from this Olympus OMD or pen cameras Olympus cameras have this micro four-third sensor so to get the goodness of the sensor you need to make sure that your aspect ratio is 4 by 3 how do you do that for this it's easy just press OK to get the super control panel and make sure that here you see aspect it is 4 by 3 now 3 by 2 if you want to shoot 3 by 2 you can make it 3 by 2 that's fine but it doesn't give you the best image quality as compared to 4 by 3 make sure you switch off uh, the noise filter for that you need to go to custom menu just menu custom menu E which is exposure ISO OK and noise filter make sure it's off not low not standard not high to get the best picture quality make sure that you put it off there is another thing that changes the look of your JPEG images which is white balance warm color on or off I will show you two photographs with warm color on and warm color off so to me the best natural looking images is from white balance warm color off so make sure that you turn it off how do you do that again of course you go to custom menu G color white balance and then keep warm color make sure it is not on it is off
Then there is another thing. To get the so-called Olympus look or the Olympus color, you need to make sure that you choose the picture mode natural. Just press OK to get the super control panel and then go to picture mode, make sure that it is natural. So it's natural and then sharpness zero, contrast zero, gradation normal and saturation zero. This will give you the best natural looking images preserving the Olympus look or Olympus color. The easiest and effective setting is to use touch focus and touch shutter together. For that you need to enable uh, your touch screen first. So how do you enable the touch screen? Go to menu, custom menu, utility that is custom menu K and touch screen settings on. Make sure it's on. Then you see this symbol which means the touch screen on like a hand and a green square this means only the touch to focus so you can just touch these images and it will be in focus but you need touch to focus and shutter which makes things so easy and make sure that you click here and again then you see two steps and a hand which means it's a two-step method touch to focus and shutter with one touch now you just touch where you want to focus and it will take the picture by focusing it I'm just focusing on the lemon now see you got the picture the other method is to use the single autofocus mode which is really precise but it's not that easy as the touch to shoot function that we have just seen. For the single autofocus mode you need to select the smallest square so how do we do it? For that you need to go to custom menu A again menu and custom menu A autofocus and manual focus just uh, right arrow go down set home just right arrow again and this says S which means small this is the smallest focusing point just make sure that it's in the middle now you go to uh, super control panel by pressing OK and make sure it's single autofocus and it's the smallest autofocusing points so how to choose the focusing area with the single autofocus? Just press function 2. So I assign the function 2 button to choose focus points. I'll teach you how to do that later. So just press function 2 to select the focus points. You can either use the dial pad like this, up and down, right or left. Otherwise just control dials in the front. Anyways, so just select uh, lemon and then half press. See, it's in focus. Then again, if you want to select the tomato, just the focus core over there and half press. This is how you use your single autofocus mode. There is another method which is very useful for portraits. But you need to make sure that your camera and your subject is really steady. Otherwise, you may face uh, back focusing, which is, you know, focusing on the hair of your subject instead of the face or the eye. So make sure your subject and your camera are very still. So how to activate the face and eye priority? Just press OK to get a uh, super control panel and make sure you see the face now it's off just uh, turn uh, the face priority on no the face and eye priority on so which will select the nearest eye as your focus point 
see now you can see the baby's face in focus. The other focusing method is manual focus with the assist of uh, magnification and peaking. To activate that, just go to uh, custom menu and if I remember right, it's the yeah, custom menu A, auto focus and manual focus, just click OK, then uh, just go down to see MF assist, which means manual focus assist, just click OK and you see this button magnify just turn it on peaking turn it on so to activate manual focus I'm using function 3 because I assign manual focus to function 3 button just press here and now it changed to MF which is manual focus now all you need to do is just turn your focusing ring on your lens See now you got the magnification. Just turn the front arrow to change the size of the magnification. So three or five times is more than enough for me. So three times. Now just turn the ring until you see a white dot. See the white dots? Which is the focus peaking, which gives you a clear idea where you have your focus on and then press click so this is how you do the manual focusing it's very easy and it's precise so how to assign your function buttons to do different tasks for that you need to go to custom menu again and then custom menu B button or dial button function and just function one function you can select ISO white balance multifunction peaking or anything anything you want then like that function two you can select anything then all you need to do is just press the function button and access the setting that you have already assigned like the function two I assigned the focus point selection. You can use auto ISO with manual mode with these Olympus cameras. So just turn it to manual mode. Now it's manual mode. You see M, which is manual. So to activate auto ISO, you need to go to menu and then custom menu E ISO auto. and ISO auto to all not to PAS to all now you can select your aperture with the front dial and your shutter speed with the back dial and then the auto ISO will help you to give you the proper exposure so you can make sure you get the perfect shutter speed and the perfect aperture for any of your photographs Olympus is known for the 5 axis image stabilization. So, to get the best image stabilization, you need to go to uh, menu. So, from custom menu C, release, just make sure the image stabilization for still picture is SIS1. This photo editing software is called Olympus Viewer 3. This is a free editing software when you buy an Olympus camera. Let me tell you something very frankly. This image editing software is very slow. You need to wait to see the changes that you make when you just change the slider for color or any, any slider in that regard. So if you have patience, trust me, you'll get the best result out of your images. So just open your Olympus Viewer 3 and select the photo that you want. This is straight out of the camera image 
which I took with my uh, Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II with uh, with an Olympus uh, 45 1.8 lens just press edit then the first things you need is to customize the palette for that just click here and select the ones that you need and just skip the others I'm, I'm only shooting JPEG so I've already got the best JPEG out of the camera with all the settings that we have previously uh, discussed so now I'm editing my JPEG images without losing any of the Olympus character from my photos so you can just uh, check the ones that you usually use for your editing and then click OK I only use these settings one is the auto tone correction and the second one is monochrome and sepia the third one is crop and the fourth one is brightness and contrast and the fifth one is gamma and the sixth one is hue and saturation and the last one is unsharp mask just make sure you use these sliders to make the adjustment to your liking after all this editing just make sure that you use the unsharp mask there is uh, actually a sharpening slider which I don't use I find the unsharp mask gives you the best result if you want to sharpen your images and I'll tell you the settings strength start from uh, 250 and radius uh, you start from 1 and then threshold you start from 10 this is actually a very good uh, starting point from here you can take it further according to your taste so I'll show you uh, the straight out of the camera image and the edited image this Olympus viewer 3 surely preserve the Olympus color and the Olympus look there are certain things that makes your editing so live and easy uh, one of them is the two screen display just press two screen display from here click then you see the unedited images and the the changes when you do editing on the right side of the picture then if you want you can just uh, click zoom and then use your mouse to zoom in and zoom out or if you want one to one see you have an option here so these are some of the tools that make your editing so easier and just use a uh, format JPEG with EXIF data or without it and make sure the JPEG compression is high quality from here then save 